Now that Cheater's agents have collected all evidence of the suspect's deceit, Cheater's contacts Brandy. Grappling with the prospect of life alone, Brandy now decides to examine all findings. Brandy, the first thing I'd like to say is um, we're glad to have you here this evening. I understand there's been a lot of things going on in your relationship right now with Tommy. Are you ready to see what we've come up with? Sure. All right. All right, Brandy. We begin our investigation outside of his workplace. Mm -hmm. We see him emerge. He walks out, he gets into his vehicle, and he leaves. Mm -hmm. As our detectives follow Tommy, he arrives at a shopping center. We see him pull into the parking lot, park his car. He gets out and he walks. That's when we see him walk over to a coffee shop. He is by himself. Walks in, grabs a cup of coffee, and then when he comes out, Standing there, all of a sudden he's approached by this woman in the boots. Ew. Smoking a cigarette. Oh my god. They kiss right. This thing I know it's I know it's hard to watch this stuff, but uh. they kiss in front of the coffee shop, walk over in front of a mattress store where he proceeds to squeeze That's all a... over her, pull her shirt up. I mean he's he's being very touchy feely with this girl, in okay. a sense. That's the bitch that was in the picture. This is the girl that was in the picture yeah. you saw? Yeah. Are you 100% on that? Oh, I'm 100%. So this is that same girl then? Oh, yeah, definitely. A gym client? Yeah, supposedly. Supposedly. Okay, well, after they're hugging and kissing in front of the mattress store, he then proceeds to walk her to her vehicle where he then extends his arms below her waistline and just grabs all over her. They kiss multiple times. She gets into her vehicle and leaves and he does as well. Moving forward with our investigation, Brandy, on this day, we're outside of Tommy's workplace. And a few moments later, he waltzes out, gets into his car, and he leaves. As our detectives follow him, he drives and arrives at this motel. A door opens close to where he parked, and that same woman from the previous day is there. During the time that he walks into that motel room, Brandy, he receives a phone call what you're about to hear is the audio from that conversation. Hello? Hey, man, what are you doing? Hey, Todd, um, I hope your light's not. I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't had a chance to call you yet and tell you. It's going to be a couple of hours, you know. Okay, so are we doing dinner still, or what's the game? Yeah, yeah, like I said, we're going to do dinner and everything. It's just, uh, it's going to be a couple hours late. Okay, well, give me a call on your way home. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. A couple 